Okay, guys, to go with that set of uh, Buick Grand National and the Oldsmobile Hearst, we got sitting behind it a really nice Chevy IROC Z Camaro. This thing's pretty clean, guys. And I was a little bit of a tight squeeze through here, but it is a Z28. Chevy IROC. It's got T-tops. It's automatic. No, it's stick shift. Spoke too soon. Stick shift. Five speed. Well, get to bang some gears in here. That's really nice. And this interior, the interior here is real nice. The seats front and back. Cloth seats, but they're nice. You know, not too shabby. They're a little worn in the back, but still. I mean, this thing's in great condition, man. Great condition. As you guys see the gauges, this thing is in excellent condition, man. Oh my God, yeah, this is a nice car. You swing it around the back. I don't see any damage to this thing. I don't see any dings. I don't see any scratches. Hatchback. Had the big glass. I used to see these with louvers over the back. People used to do that. He still got those Chevy IROC rims on here, Z28. Brand new tires on here. Yeah, this thing is real nice. Real nice. We're gonna do the passenger side. Okay, guys, looking at this Camaro, the Z28, I would buy it. I'm not a big fan on T-tops or convertibles, but I know a good thing when I see it. And all the glass on here is clean. The T-tops are nice, you know. Yeah, this thing had to be garage kept. Had to be for it to be this clean, you know. Nice seats. Right down to your climate control. Banging gears in a Camaro. I rock Z. <laughs> this car is real nice. Yeah, fellas. Real nice find. Chevy IROC Z, guys. Later. Okay, guys, look at this Chevy Camaro, man. This thing's beautiful. <laughs> I love this blue with the white hair to stripes. Look at that big mouth. Split bumper. Yeah, man, this thing's nice, man. Real nice Camaro right here. It's pretty tight in there. We're going to do our best to get something out of it. My God, this is a nice car. As you can see, 350 down there on a Rally Sport. So it's not a Z28. It's a Rally Sport with a cow hood. Hey, beggars can't be choosy. But this thing is nice, fellas. As we look in through the driver's side window, Back seats, black interior, immaculate. Headliner, immaculate. It's an automatic. But it's clean, fellas. It is clean. Real clean. You know. Very clean. I still love this paint scheme. This blue with the white hair that stripes. Back glass is real nice. You know, that's the way these split bumpers were, man. Look at the back end. Like I said, I don't care if it is a rally sport, man. Vegas can't be choosy. This thing is beautiful. We're going to look at the passenger side. Yeah, guys, coming in from the back end of this thing on the passenger side. It's nice. Really nice vehicle. Yeah, it's tight in here. <laughs> That's not going to stop us from checking out this car. You got your gauges right there. 
dashboard is in excellent condition. I love this year model. Even though it's got a Chevy 350 in here, the interior is beautiful. The interior is beautiful. And you can't beat a real nice Camaro, man. Especially if you find an old school one. This is real nice, fellas. Let's check out the next car. Look at here, guys. We got a Pontiac TA 6.6 .6. Trans Ham. Look at that gold bird on there, man. That's beauty. Thing of beauty. Beautiful Trans Am. As you can see, it's got the T-tops. Of course, that's where everybody wanted with the Smokey and the Bandit style type of car. Burt Reynolds made this car so popular. <laughs> and the car made Burt Reynolds. As we look in, stick shift, man. Look like we got four on the floor. Yes, sir, we do. Oh, man. The 6.6, .6, four on the floor. I can only imagine how loud this car is. When it started up. Oh man, these were some popular cars. Got your honeycomb rims down there. Those old popular Pontiac Trans Am rims, I should say. Got some louvers on the back. Trans Am. Beautiful back end. Let's take a better look at those rims. You guys remember that. We're gonna look at the passenger side. Yeah, this is really nice, guys. This is real nice. I have no complaints about this car. Cause as we go in through the passenger side window, we take a good look at that dashboard. We get up closer on that gear shifter, man. That's nice to have four on the floor with this thing, a TA. Shoot, and it's in this type of condition? Please, this thing's nice, man. Real nice. Back seats. <sighs> yeah, man. How you gonna beat a car like this? Old school, Pontiac, big time fun. It was hard to beat these things, man. They were everywhere in all colors, you know, everywhere, you know. But we got another Firebird to look at, and you guys are going to love this one. Let's take a look at it. Okay, guys, look at this old Firebird. It's pretty tight in here, fellas, but I'm going to try to get as much of this beautiful yellow Firebird as possible, man. It's yellow on black, black top, black trim. Look at the tire in the back. Big wide tire back there, man, my God. But most importantly, look at the motor. You got a Corvette LS1 in here, man. They did a swap out. They put an LS1 down in here, man. This thing is nice. Oh yeah, it's nice. Oh my God. Whoever did this, they knew what they were doing. So you don't have the original motor in here. Don't know what it was, but I know one thing. This car is beautiful with that matte black on yellow. Beautiful, beautiful scheme they put together here, man. Let's get all the way to the back with this thing. And you can see these nice rims on here, man. Yeah, with plenty of grip on the back end. Oh yeah. Got your rear spoiler. Chrome rear bumper. Glass looks nice. Clean top. You know, don't see no bubbles on the top. And then you come inside for what, how much we can see of that back bench. It's in great condition. As well as the front bucket seats and look. <laughs> Stick shift, guys. You get to bang some gears in this thing. They got a cover over the dashboard. 
but I think the dashboard is in pretty really good condition and I can't see but I do believe this speedometer here is from out of that Corvette so they made it done a lot of changing over with this thing you know but if you want to find out more specs I'd be more than happy to find out for you if you like this car drop a comment down below and I'll get the information for you and we're gonna do the passenger side okay guys we're looking back in on the passenger side of this LS1 in here man can't get over this swap here this is nice and it's done right got your electric fans there on that aluminum radiator interstate battery yeah this thing was a lot of thought was put into this thing when they did it it's a real nice firebird here man oh my goodness this yellow with black beautiful scheme beautiful scheme As we look in here, it's really tight in here, guys. But as we look at the rear fender, it's all nice, fellas. Glass is great. <laughs> as you can see, some of that back bench is a little dark back there, but it's in great condition, fellas. Trust me on that. And as you guys get to see, that stick shift. I do believe this dashboard was a full conversion from whatever Corvette they got that motor out of. Headliner is in great condition. This thing's in excellent condition, fellas. As I said before, if you're interested in this car, let me know in the comments down below. I will get you the specs and pricing or anything I feature here from MGM Classic Cars, guys. All right, fellas, later.